Today we are celebrating the achievements of you, our graduates. We are all very proud of you and you should be very proud of yourselves. Not simply because of the hard work and dedication that have got to you to this point, but also because you are graduating in a very unexpected way. You are at the cusp of great change in your life, while the world is also changing dramatically around you. The next stage of your lives is beginning in exceptional and extraordinary circumstances, and this is certainly not the send-off you had in mind, nor is it the celebration we would have intended to offer you today. The last few months must not overshadow your achievements. As Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Our connection and support will continue long after you close this chapter and the friends you have made, the knowledge you've worked so hard to gain and the memories you hold dear will be with you for the rest of your lives, whatever comes next. This is not goodbye. You are now a member of a new community as an alumnus of our university and we hope you will stay in touch. In the same way that we have not been entirely limited by the restrictions of lockdown, there are no limits to your potential. You will face more challenges and obstacles on your journey, but I hope that your time at Southampton has prepared you to withstand, overcome and solve them as you go. You are graduating from one of the very best universities in the world, ranked in the top 100, just recently climbing from 97 to 90 in the QS World University League table. I am continually amazed by what our student community can accomplish in the short years you are with us, and you are no exception. You don't need me to tell you that there's a lot of bad news around these days, and it might be a little hard to be optimistic about your future right now. I think the world has hit its tipping point, and it's ready to replace the old models of how we were living with a new model. After this pandemic, the world will not be the same. And I hope we've learned a few things during this time. Such as humans are capable of such kindness, it's sewn into our DNA. And maybe we haven't used it for a while because we were rusty, or maybe some of us just didn't have time, we were too busy. But during the virus, we really witnessed kindness, watching the actions of the NHS and those people on the front line. And we showed our appreciation by banging pots and pans and being eternally grateful. You are the architects of the brave new world, and I know you're going to build something spectacular. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I can't wait to see what you do next. The class of 2020, you've made it. You've got across the finishing line. Many, many congratulations. The best piece of career advice I was ever given was this. If you want to make God laugh, tell him you've got a plan. In other words, be flexible. Don't say in three years time, I've got to be here. In five years time, I've got to be there. The place is uncertain and you're going to have to adapt to whatever comes your way. But in this world of huge uncertainty and who knows how much life is going to change, whether there's going to be a vaccine by the end of the year and we'll all carry on as if nothing has happened, or whether there's going to be fundamental structural change. You're going to come out of Southampton with your degree certificate and that is going to be your passport to a future career. Also in this period of uncertainty, it's worth saying something about the community that is Southampton University, the Alumni Association, and the fact that there are thousands of people like me who've graduated from the university who are a network who can offer support along the way. I used to end graduation ceremonies by reading Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Zeus. It's how the world is your oyster. I've got brains in my head, I've got feet in my shoes, I can go any place I choose. Doesn't seem quite appropriate right now. The world seems shut, but it's a temporary closure. So let me end instead by saying congratulations on what you've achieved so far and the very best of luck for all that I know you're going to achieve. As head of Winchester School of Art, and on behalf of our Dean and my colleague, Professor Pierce, head of the School of Humanities, 
I want to offer my heartfelt congratulations to all our new graduates. This is the beginning of the next phase of your life. Whether you choose to continue your education, launch your career or seek out a new path, we are immensely proud of all of you for what you have achieved so far and hope you have taken the time to sit back and appreciate what you have accomplished. Your final year has not been easy and this is not the graduation you expected. However, among the many uncertainties we all face lies the certainty that you will go on to make your mark and be successful, whatever success means for you. And I have no doubt that as arts and humanities graduates, your capacity to make and imagine new futures and to rethink and learn from the past will be vital to our enriching and making sense of the present, capacities as important today as they have ever been. I hope you will all stay in touch as members of our alumni community, as your connection with Southampton is a connection for life. What you have learned here, both in and outside of our lecture theatres, studios and laboratories, is one part of your story, and I hope the next chapter is just as exciting. I wish you all the very best for a bright future ahead. Congratulations. My name is Professor Alistair Pike. I'm Head of Archaeology. President and Vice-Chancellor, I present to you the candidates from Arts and Humanities and I ask that you admit them to their awards. I now present the graduates from the Department of Archaeology for the award of Bachelor of Arts. Wenqing Zhang. Alexandra Elizabeth Rayner Kelly. Catherine Mary Flanders. Kincho Rika Bedo. Francis Daniels. Siobhan Grace McGee. Georgina May Russell. For the award of Master of Archaeology Integrated. India McDermott. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy. Carolyn Louise Felton. Panagiotta Sakaniku. My name is Dr. Stephanie Jones, Director of Programs for English. I am delighted to present the graduates from the Department of English for the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Sophie Laura Blake. Amy Victoria Bradford. Daniela Louise Brown, Robin Clark, Charlotte Colombo, Joanna Elaine Green, Georgia Ellen Hall, Jennifer Helen Harris, Rowena Eleanor Lloyd, Emily Grace Meldrum, Sydney Paige O'Hara, Christine Pablo, Jeanette Dion Qual, Catherine Quinn, Gemma Mary Ryle, Arij Salim, Timothy Benjamin Simmons, Lara Tinkler, Grace Wiley, Emily Wood, Samantha Adele Woodier, Edward Andre Gafton, Lily Francesca Corcoran, Tyler Iman Cormack, Lauren Elaine Bennett, Heather Beastwood, Ramisa Ulfat Islam, Faye Lewis, Amelia Pike, Bethan Viney, Tyrese Leona Yearwood. I am also delighted to present the graduates from the Department of English for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, UG Liu. Christina Wieszczek de Oliveira. 
My name is Professor Michael Williams, Head of Film. I am very happy to present the graduates from the Department of Film for the award of Bachelor of Arts. Molly Jane Bloomson. Cherry Chan. Charlie George Rosthorn. Noah Andrew Bennett. Patricia Joy Key. Alexander Darrell. Poppy Allen. I am now delighted to present one graduate from the Department of Film for the award of Doctor of Philosophy. Mira Sharotka. My name is Professor Maria Hayward, Deputy Head of History. I present the graduands from the School of History for the award of Bachelor of Arts. Jessica Lee Nixon. Giorgio Vito Gulliver Morelli. Samuel Barry. Emily Bolton. Ethan Samuel Bremerkamp. Abby Brown. Ellen Lucy Brown. Jack Challoner. Anya Natasha Clayton. Florin Dragon. Lauren Louise Finnegan. Jack Foran. Chloe Anna Freeman. Neve Jahiran. Abigail Hams. Nathan Heather. Adam Woodrow Jackson. Kira Lind O'Bonner. Hannah Longley. Melanie Lynch Staunton. Loretta Maliki. Georgia Lee Pendlebury McKay. Jack McCune. Georgia Meeks. Bethany Mills. James Neil Moran. Daniel Negus. Olivia Perry. Chloe Pinckney. Charlotte Amanda Pitt. Polly Ann Pike. Charlotte Kelly Rebecca Samways. Rebecca Slucock, Joseph William Steele, Sean Lily Taylor, Maisie Toft, Sophie Francesca Tustain, Alexander Thomas Wareham, Alexander Lewis Welsh, Callum Williams, James Willis, Rasheen Judd, Madeline Bridge Davies, Lauren Deegan, Angus John Gallagher, Frankie Benjamin Kenneth Norton, Kira Rickson, Martin Patrick Taylor, Alexander Peter Wheatley. I present the graduand from the School of History for the award of Master of Arts, Jesus Manuel Barraza. I present the graduand from the School of History for the award of Doctor of Philosophy, Liana T. P. Brinkley. Hello, my name is Professor James Minnie. I'm head of department for Modern Languages and Linguistics and I'm delighted to present the graduands for the award of Bachelor of Arts in Modern Languages and Linguistics. Helena Ann Cooper, Katerina Ristich, Patricia Joanna Svagal, Elizabeth Emily Dan, Luke Savage, 
Besson Cairns, Theanna Rochelle Henry, Hermione Alice Regan, James Walls, Joanna Sam Ramsey Patel, Lauren Amy Clifton, Ella Misha Hargraves, Austin Lovell, Catherine Helen Morris, Amber Louise Patterson, Luke Anthony White, Cara Fluellen, Joanna McGill, Lily Francis Brown, Delisha Shirley Linda Harrop, Anusha Apadu, Ashwina Apadu, Oliver Bellworthy, Victoria Ann Boyd, Phoebe Louise Cooper, Joshua Denny, Kate Evans, Louise Hewitson, Rebecca Modest, Athena Fiona Arnold Fox, Camilla Aisha Atta, Josephine Marie Deeks, Rebecca Fletcher, Robin James Toulon Parr, Flavia Sophia Bernardo Matos, Catherine Jane Ford, Marcella Savidra Keach, Fiona Turner, Coral Acacia Dean, Charlotte Kitramilides, for the award of Bachelor of Science, Joanna Itzia Perkins, for the award of Master of Arts, Ahmed Mohamed Al Gamdi, Chanran Yuan, Pim Suji Sapapraset. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy, Khaled Abdullah Al Anbar, Parameth Lord Asa, Harinfa Patana Pongpitak. Maruk Shakir Fatima Zara Ahmed Sid Marina Sokolova My name is Dr Benjamin Oliver and I'm Head of Music. I'm delighted to present the graduands from the Department of Music for the award of Bachelor of Arts. Gemma Leanne Chambers Molly Ellis Emily McCann Hannah Parsons Imogen Pledge Antigone Esther Florent Robertson Martina Straccioni Claudia Z. Cheyenne Tan Charlotte Joyce Tripkini Oren Valek I'm also pleased to present one graduand from the Department of Music for the award of Doctor of Philosophy. Asha Vijay Yampolsky. My name is Professor Christopher Janaway and I'm a Professor of Philosophy. I now present the graduands from the Department of Philosophy for the award of Bachelor of Arts. Maximilian Arkel. Elena Eilene. Grace Britton Michael Terence Brony Mensa Claudia Cellini George Harrington Olivia Rose Hall Charlotte Emily Horsley Thomas Jessup Janie Nilesh Shah Cariad Elizabeth Shawcross Alexandra Elizabeth 
Marshall Smith, Amy Corinna Springett, Nicholas Louis Henry Stokes, Rhiannon Michelle Taylor, George Tracy, Katie Walker, Thomas James Wedden, Jessica England, Nina Clark, Ellen Cooper, Morayo Alexandra Lassican, Natalie Segrist, Mukjeet Singh, Ross Martin Miller, Imogen Patricia Brighty Potts, Rachel Moore, Gabrielle Florence Pulston Vaudry, Victoria Roots, James Aluafemi Samiu Roof, Nicole Kairinos, Christopher Barson, Catherine Daisy Goodger, Benedict Hollenby, Todor Christoph Ninoff, Laura Rodima Bernardo, Xiaohe Yu, Alice Smith. I now present the graduand from philosophy for the award of Doctor of Philosophy for a thesis entitled Kierkegaard's Conception of Self-Becoming, Oscar Theodor Johannesson. Everything we do as a union is for our members and it's thanks to you that this year we were voted in the top 10 for our clubs and societies and the top 20 union overall. We couldn't do what we do if it wasn't for our thousands of elected student volunteers and representatives. So a huge thank you to everyone who's volunteered their time to make this student experience better. On behalf of the Students Union, I want to say a huge congratulations to each one of you. When we first started back in September, I don't think any one of us could possibly have predicted the events that would unfold and that would be finishing the year remotely in the middle of a global pandemic. On behalf of all of the staff and volunteers at the Students Union, I want to say a massive congratulations to all of you for your achievements. Finishing your degree in any normal year whilst balancing job commitments, society activities and volunteering is always amazing. But doing so this year under these circumstances is nothing short of phenomenal. Like me, you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed at the prospect of graduating in the current climate. But once you've graduated, you become part of the University of Southampton's global alumni community, which includes over 245,000 people from over 185 countries. This means that you will continue to receive support and benefits from the university. These include things such as the e-mentoring scheme, so you can be partnered up with more established alumni that can help you in your journey, whatever you're doing next. You will also continue to receive support from the Careers and Employability Service, who can help you with jobs and other opportunities once you've graduated. Whatever you're going on to do next, I wish you all the very best of luck. And finally, I would like to formally admit you to your award in absentia. This means that you are now formally a graduate, but we hope to see you at a graduation a ceremony at a date in the future when we can meet again safely in person. My heartfelt congratulations again. I wish you every success. Well done.